Hey, what's going on? This is Greg Hellbeck, and welcome to this week's REI Deal Breakdown. Notice the cool little fall background here in New York. It is gorgeous here this time of the year. I'm sitting in a nice leather chair doing a little video, so hope you're having a good day. So today I'm going to talk about a piece of property I just wholesaled on Monday in Harrington, Delaware. So before I get into that, if you are not subscribed to my channel, if you could subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot to me. And if you do get value from this in this particular video, if you could like the video, it would mean a lot. And that's how we keep the followers coming. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs ASAP, and we are not there yet. So the more you subscribe, the more it will help. So, and by the way, if you're not familiar with me, Greg Hellbeck, I bought and sold well over 100 houses, probably about 120, 125 houses at this point in my career. Uh, got a lot of experience. I've done business in several different markets across the country. And the goal of these videos is to be as helpful as possible and take the lessons that I've learned the hard way and share them with you the easy way so you can take these lessons and apply it in your business. So with all that being said, Milford Harrington Highway, I forget the freaking address to be honest with you. It's like 5134, I, I don't even know. Like I'm terrible with addresses as you can tell. But basically, long story short, got this property through a text messaging campaign through Launch Control. So Anna on our team generated this lead. And we had a seller who had a vacant property. He just had some tenants move out. This is all according to her. And uh, he wanted to sell it. Uh, the property, what, so we thought, was in decent shape, which it turns out it wasn't. So we ended up making the seller two offers. Uh, two offers. It was a cash offer and a, a novation offer. If you're not familiar with novations, you should follow my boy Eric Brewer and check out the Brewer method because he goes into detail on how to do those profitably. So anyway, we made him a cash offer, a novation offer. And um, he took the novation offer and we were like, okay, cool. Well, let's, let's basically do a novation and uh, basically put the house on the open market and sell it to a retail buyer, et cetera, et cetera. So we locked the property up, get the agreement to put it on the open market. We, and I think we locked it up for 240, I think something like that. And we didn't know how bad the property was. Like we knew it needed work, but like we thought it would still be financeable. So threw it on the market and uh, there was a bunch of traffic but there was really no conversion. Like there was not a lot of offers because people would go to the property, they'd see that it needed work and they were kind of like, oh, I don't know, this thing needs a lot of work. Um, I don't know at that price, if it makes sense based on the work it needs. So we kept getting that feedback over and over and over and over again. And uh, this was going on for about a couple weeks and I'm thinking, all right, you know what? Maybe we, uh, maybe we just do a little bit of work and uh, put it back on the market, right? And that was my original plan. After thinking about that, I was like, you know what? Why don't we just buy this for cash and fix and flip the house? Like, let's just do that. Let's just buy the house for cash, fix and flip the house, and we'll go from there. So anyway, we ended up getting a price reduction. I got the seller on the phone, and I was like, listen, like, you know, the property needs more work than we thought. We could still do this novation if you want, but if you really just want to be done with this thing, we can close in two weeks. Um, I could just make you a cash offer and you could be done with this thing. And he's like, I'd rather have that. So I was like, okay, cool. So I got the thing price reduction, I think down to 200, I believe. And, um, you know, we signed another contract that had the new purchase price in there and we had like a two week closing or no, we had like a three week closing. Anyway, uh, after having some contractors walk the property, like it, it just, honestly, it needed work and it, I didn't really want to do a rehab project like at that down there. Cause it was kind of like not really in the North Delaware area. And I was like, what if I could just wholesale this property to somebody and they could take it right off my hands? So that's what I ended up doing. I ended up um, putting it out on the uh, wholesale you know, database and I got a buyer to buy this property like literally within 12 hours. I had a guy who was at the house, walked the house, was, like made me, you know, made me the offer I wanted and it just closed on Monday. We made like 15 grand on that property. I did have a little bit of costs there. I had to pay, uh, I paid some contractors to start some work. So I, I netted a little bit less than that, but at the end of the day, if that fix and flip was successful, we probably would have made like 45 grand, maybe in this frothy market. Uh, and that would have taken five, six months. But instead, we made 15 grand in two weeks. So what lessons did I learn from this deal that, that, that you can take? Number one, if you can wholesale a property and make a reasonable profit and get paid in two weeks, generally, that's going to be better than trying to renovate a property to maybe make double and having to wait double, triple, quadruple the time with more risk and liability. So if you can make a quick nickel, that normally will beat a slow dime. The second thing I learned on this property is that if you got a motivated seller, they are willing to do whatever it takes to sell their property. Like we weren't trying to beat this guy up on purpose. 
We just were all open and honest with him about the reality of his property, which was that it needed a lot more work than we thought because it was a weird house because if you looked at it from the outside, you wouldn't think that it needed that much work. But then when you walked around it, you were like, whoa, this thing was jacked up. So um, if you've got a real motivated seller on your hands and you're open and honest and transparent with them about the reality of their property, they're generally going to be receptive to that. And he thought we were going to close in three weeks. We ended up closing in two weeks. So he had his expectations um, uh, exceeded. Right, and he was really happy that we did business with him. So, those are some lessons on this deal in Harrington, Delaware. If you got value from this, uh, please subscribe to my channel, like my video. If you're interested in um, getting coached by me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, uh, send me an email, Greg at VelocityHouseBuyers.com. And if you want to JV with me, if you are in Delaware and you want to do a deal like this, or you're in New York and you want to do a deal like this, or Jersey, or Connecticut, or Pennsylvania. Send me an email, greg at velocityhousebuyers.com, and I will see you on the next video.